Renfield was really boring. A lot of Universal's recent movies have been misses lately. Anything that's not based off of a pre-existing property, it seems that Universal has sort of dropped. Like they released Megan, which I haven't heard the best things about, Cocaine Bear, which I didn't really like, and now Renfield. But if you look at their other movies, the Mario movie was alright, John Wick was great, and Puss in Boots was like nearly a masterpiece. Going into the movie, I didn't expect like anything like crazy. Like, like, I didn't even know about the movie until I got like a random trailer on it on YouTube. Like, the first thing he says is, I gotta get out of a toxic relationship. Okay, that's... That's a way to start. And it turns out it's with Dracula. Ooh. And the weirdest part is, Dracula's played by Nick Cage? Once I saw that trailer, I like knew I wanted to see it because it looked so bad it was gonna be good. But then I saw a second trailer before, I believe, John Wick. And from that, uh, I found out Aquafina's in it. Uh-oh. And it's a bit of a romantic comedy, which is not a bad direction. That sounds kind of funny. But when I saw the movie, like, uh, last Sunday, it wasn't bad funny. It was just bad. It was boring. Like, I don't care if, like, a movie's bad or at all. Unless it, like, because, like, I saw another bad movie recently, 65. That thing was really bad. But I still had some fun with it because there's stuff to, like, think about with it. Like, oh, it's bad for this reason, but Renfield, it's just boring. It presents itself so plainly. In regards to the action, it's just, it's all just like a punch. And the way they show off the significance of that punch is the is the, the other person just flying away. In a very obvious fashion, like, you know how they did it. Like, whenever they were doing a production, they just had, like, some little straps carry them away. But in post, they edited it out. Oh, it's like the slam dunk LeBron James did in Space Jam. One, two. I don't like that. I don't like that about some movies because they have like cool ideas, but they just don't go very far with them. They just present them as simply as they can. Like with the jokes in this movie, they're just, they're nothing. Like the jokes in both movies are just like, F word this, F word that, drugs, 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 which I don't really like. I don't really care about that. Why can't you present it in a different way? Or just have a different kind of joke? This movie has some solid ideas. Like with Dracula, like they take classic Dracula ideas and give them like a bit of a modern twist or just add like a modern element to them. Like, did you know Dracula isn't allowed into homes unless if he's invited in? I only know that because of Scary Godmother, but in but in Renfield, Dracula just goes inside of Renfield's house without Renfield even knowing. But how does he do it? Renfield didn't let him in. But then the camera shows, oh, Renfield had a welcome mat that said, come on in. I think that's funny. There is like another thing about the movie that's kind of cool, I guess. Like, the colors in this movie like really pop. If you look at the trailers, there's like some really dramatic lighting in the scenes. Like uh, during that gym scene, uh, there's like a significant blue lighting and like a hint of red. I think that is like really interesting. I don't know how they would do it, but I think like that's something to be commended about, I guess. And I guess there is like one interesting shot. Dracula is just teleporting around a room, but it occasionally flashes like lights, like colorful lights. So you can still see like what's going on. And it, it adds to the uneasiness like like where is Dracula where is he going because you can hardly see like where he is and during like the little bits of light you can like see Dracula like flying by like that's kind of neat but is that what you're going to see the movie for if you want to see an action movie watch John Wick John Wick chapter 4 is wonderful and I didn't even see the other movies but if you want to watch a new action comedy film watch Violent Night or Bullet Train both of them are fantastic they're some of my favorite movies of last year I should have watched there instead.